Solving a linear equation with several occurrences of the variable. Fractional forms with binomial numerators. All right, in these types of questions, you're going to have an equation with some fractions. Now, you can eliminate your fractions anytime you have an equation by multiplying both sides of the fraction by the common denominators. So here we have 2 and 6 as our denominators, so the common denominator of 2 and 6 is 6. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both sides of this equation by 6. Now, this is considered one term, this 4y minus 1 all over 6, and then this one is as well. So what we have to do is we have to make sure that we distribute the 6 to both of these. So that's basically 6 times 27 minus 4y minus 1 over 6 times 6. Now you can change that 6 into 6 over 1. You can see that we can cancel out these fractions here. And 6 times 27, that gives us 162. And then this leaves us with this minus 4y minus 1. Now remember, this minus applies to both of these terms inside of here. So I'm going to rewrite this as minus 4y, and a negative times a negative is going to give me a positive, so this is going to be plus 1. So remember when there's a minus here, it's going to change this sign as well. Okay, so be careful with that minus sign. Alright, so over here on this other side, let's simplify this, let's write this as 6 over 1, and I have this 6 and the 2, and I can simplify both of these by dividing by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, 6 divided by 2 is 3. So I have 3, and I'm going to multiply it by both of the things inside of the parentheses here. And that's going to give us 21y minus 12. Now you can see from here, um, I'm going to want to simplify this side. So 162 plus 1 is 163. supposed to be y. Okay, so what we're going to do is now get um, the y's on one side. So I like to have my y's on the left side, but they could really go on either. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this minus 4y by adding 4y to both sides. Now I'm going to go ahead and at the same time, I'm going to move the 12, minus 12 I want to get rid of it, um, so I'm going to do that right now before I go too much further. So I'm going to add 12 to both sides, so it cancels out here, and this leaves me with um, 163 plus 12, and that's going to give me 175. Okay, now I'm going to divide both sides by 25. Now, how many quarters would you have in a dollar seventy-five? Right, that's four, five, six, seven quarters. So that's the same as one seventy-five divided by twenty-five. All right. So y equals seven. You can. All right. So here's another example. And I can see that um, I have denominators eight and two. So my con common denominator is going to be 8, so I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by 8. So 8 times 25, that's 200. And then I'm going to distribute this 8 to both of these. So you can think of that as 8 over 1. So now I can see from this that this 8 and this 8 will cancel out, and this 8 and this 2 here, I can divide both by 2, and this gives me 1 and 4. And so you're going to have 200 
equals x plus 4 plus, and then we've got to distribute this 4 here, 24x minus 4. All right, so we have like terms here. This gives me 25x, and then 4 minus 4, hey, that, those cancel each other out. And I divide both sides by 25, and you get x equals 8.